All right, y'all, welcome back for another one. It's been a while since I've done a video, um, but I'm gonna try to get more experimental and start doing some more fun stuff. I just got this new smoker done. <clears throat> um, this is a full size 150 gallon smoker. Uh, the other one I had, I kind of outgrew it. I've been cooking on it for about a year, maybe a little bit longer than that. And I was really getting maxed out on capacity, certain cooks, doing certain things for people. Uh, the Super Bowl was a really big cook and I, I was like completely maxed out. I had to cook three days in a row to, to get everything I needed. So anyway, the old smoker was about two thirds of this tank, of a tank like this. And then it was this part right here was the firebox. It was about 22 inches long and I cut the end cap of it off. But anyway, this is the full size 150. I got a fire going in there right now, trying to get this thing burned in. But um, just really, really proud of this one. Uh, I'm not the best there ever was at smoking, or uh, well, smoking, no, I am, just kidding. No, but there, uh, as far as like doing welding and stuff, I've really been learning a lot over the last year, taught myself a lot. I ask questions when I have them uh, to people that I know that actually do uh, more than I do. But anyways, it's been a lot of fun to do. Um, they gave this one the same look as the other one. Uh, only thing that turned out a little bit different was it has a different colored primer on the bottom. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of white gray and, and then the silver shiny and the bare metal. But um, I've not had a chance to get this thing clear coated yet because it's so freaking cold. The day that it was warm enough to actually do it, I didn't have all the stuff in that I needed. So I'll do a quick overview, just a quick walk around, kind of show you what I did. Um, you got anything cool to say about it? Let me know. If you're gonna be a dick, just keep your opinions to yourself. I don't really give a fuck. So anyway, uh, do a quick overview, kind of show you what I did and then uh, go from there. So, like I said, I don't know if I said it before, but it took me about two months to do this. Uh, I didn't have all the stuff I needed all the time, and I didn't have a lot of time to do it, uh, being sick here and there. I, I made it through COVID and fucking everything, not ever getting sick, and then uh, got sick twice in the last five weeks, just like this crazy sinus shit. But anyway, that's beside the point. Anyway, really happy with how it turned out. Um, you going to get this fire going a little bit hotter in here and hopefully uh, see how it holds. My last one being a little bit shorter, and I would run that water pan on it. I, these two were almost identical as I was running it the whole time I was cooking, so it was pretty cool. I'm not quite expecting this out of this one, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, oh, real quick, let me show you the inside. So, quick, quick overview of the firebox here. <clears throat> it's a quarter-inch steel firebox. It is uh, 24 by 24. You can see, I did a little better on this one. It's not, it ain't great, but it's not, it's not the worst, right? So, just some pretty good dimes dropped in there for me. Remember, I've only been welding for about a year off and on. I don't do it full time. But getting this fire going nice and hot in here. Here's my firebox door. Kept it real simple. <clears throat> Not quite sure if I'm going to put a um, little pinwheel on there or if I'm going to do something on the side yet. But I'm going to do, I'll probably do something for a little bit more air inlet. Not just keeping the door open. I'm not, well, I don't know. We'll see. Go ahead and show you what I did on the inside. Here's the far side over by the smokestack. You can see that thing's got some serious draw on it. That's pretty cool seven inch on this long one but did double over here did the double rack fit anything i want on the bottom rack and i can actually put a whole brisket on the top if i wanted to or just like a bunch of wings or even half chickens so that's going to add a lot more capacity just by itself and then see over here too i would add that little piece in there in that gap and then over here i still might add a second rack i'm just not quite sure yet if i'm going to or not i'm not sure if it's gonna give me if it'll be able to cook really well on that side next to the firebox it is time will tell but pretty happy with how it turned out <clears throat> really really happy with how it turned out actually and it's going to be a good cooker looking forward to getting this thing burned in now and just kind of seeing how it operates there you go all right that's my quick overview of what i did here as you can see i got this fire really piping hot now it's about 450 right there and close to 500 on this side i might even cool it down a little bit but anything anyway nothing's leaking anywhere weird like in a spot like over by the firebox where it comes in uh over in the the whole um uh, fire smoke collector nothing's nothing's uh, leaking there either so i'm pretty happy with the way it turned out um anyways got anything cool to say let me know in the comments like subscribe i just hit a thousand subscribers it's pretty cool so i do need i do want to get more active on here so that's something one of my goals for 2023 was uh to get mobile in my smoking uh business and then also to uh get a little more active on youtube so if you like what you're seeing like subscribe share with your friends appreciate you